pleased with the way the morning went. Uh, uh, frankly, it has accomplished a, a great deal more than I ever imagined it, it would or could, uh, and thanks to the uh, tremendous tenacity exhibited by Lydia. It, uh, it, it's her conviction, belief, and her love for teaching. And, uh, she saw that it was a terrible situation uh, with the the old portion of the school, uh, and children just can't, especially the young ones, were at a tremendous disadvantage um, because uh, they had no no comfort, no convenience, no uh, well, an ideal learning environment. It, what was not. Uh, they had no opportunity. Everything was kind of preventing learning when you're, you know, like a dirt floor, then uh, uh, having to take your lessons on bare ground, and the, the, the uh, which we had never heard of, the, uh, what's it called, the jigger worm? The jigger worm? It's, uh, my goodness, the child uh, is uh, affected by some in insect or a worm that burrows up into their feet uh, as a result of having to take their classes in in a setting like that, it makes it very difficult to learn. Um, I was very impressed with the emphasis that uh, Madame Usama too places upon girls. Uh, the girl students, girl children coming to school and she did her best to exact a commitment from the parents that their girl child will go to school, will have the opportunity to go to school and not be prevented because she's a girl. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I was very encouraged. Uh, yeah. Seeing the garden, seeing the uh, school garden, uh, I didn't see that last year. Uh, uh, maybe there was some there. Uh, it seems to me there's a a renewal, a new a new vibrancy, a new motivation for the school. Uh, a little bit of push with the improvements make it. Uh, seems to have made it. Uh, just everybody is more zealous. Uh, uh, and I think the school will will live in a way that it couldn't it couldn't live previously. That's a few of my. I think you'll enjoy the material.